Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Olivia Hope, and today I'm here with Lauren L Should I say your last name? With Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be telling you guys our favorite TV shows. Should we get started? We have good advice. Oh, for sure. I spend so much of my time watching TV. Most of the shows that I love, you've shown me. Yeah, I have great TV show advice. So, um, these are just TV shows, no movies. If you want us to do some that are movies, which I personally hate movies, but I have seen a few good I ones. I don't love movies, but there are some good ones. I completely agree with that statement. If you want us to do one about movies, we can, but this is not that. So, um, we're going to do this in genre section. And I'll have the timestamps in the description box below in case you only want to see a certain section. So we have medical drama, regular drama, sitcom, and reality TV. Like some of them are thriller and like a drama. So then we're oh, like we have horror too. Comedy and drama. Yeah. You know, like shows are more than one drama. So we're just kind of grouping them. Like romance. And like we don't have any romance, but some of them are romance. We just didn't label them that. Yeah. Okay. All right. So should we start with sitcom? Yeah. Alright, so for our sitcoms, we have, okay, mine is Parks and Rec. I just started watching that, and it's pretty funny. Um, How I Met Your Mother. I love How I Met Your Mother. I've seen it so many times. It's hilarious. I really like New Girl. It's about, like, this girl who moves into an apartment with, like, all these other guys, and it's kind of like, yeah, it's just really funny. It's really funny. Young and Hungry is very, very funny. I've gotten a lot of people to watch it. It's kind of like dumb humor, but I think it's funny. Yeah, and it's also kind of vulgar humor. Vulgar? I, I consider it PG. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree. Okay, um... About a Boy is really, really good. There's two seasons, but it's not really anywhere to be found. <laughs> we should probably say where you can watch these. Oh, yeah. You can watch parks and rec on netflix and on hulu you can watch new girl on netflix you can watch how i met your mother on hulu about a boy you're gonna have to probably buy it because they took it off netflix but it's so good and it's really it's nowhere really to be found good. nowhere knows baby daddy you can see it on hulu um oh i okay. didn't really go into detail about so we also daddy. have like some kid shows that are sitcom like okay iCarly is freaking hilarious uh girl meets world <laughs> So Live in Maddie. Oh, these are some great ones. It's amazing. Okay, and I'm just gonna say, this isn't really a sitcom, but I'm just gonna say Garfield. <laughs> I love Garfield. But it's not, but it's a little we're gonna, kid. We're, we, we love it. one cartoon. We love it. She also loves Courage the Cowardly Dog, though. Oh my gosh, that is under horror. <laughs> it's so scary. Jane the Virgin and Friends. Jane the Virgin is actually a telenovela, but it's really funny, and it's not in Spanish. And Friends is old and hilarious. Blah, I like blah, blah. Friends though. Friends is so funny. I love Friends. I've seen it's like, like six somewhere times. where like you can. It's like a show you can watch, but you won't like have to watch it all the time. Like you can come back to it whenever you want. Yeah, for sure. Actually, I completely agree with that. Four. Oh, we didn't say Full and Fuller House. Okay, Fuller. And you can find Fuller House on, on Netflix, Netflix and Full House on Hulu, and they're both really great. Yeah. yeah. I watched Fuller House and I've never even seen Full House and it made sense to me and it was really good and funny. Yeah, they're both really funny. I really like Full House too. And I know that that one's kind of older, but I think it's really good. So should we move on to medical dramas? Sure. Alright. Grey's Anatomy. Okay, literally everyone knows about Grey's Anatomy. You either hate it or you don't. But if you've never watched it... Oh, so true. So true. My teacher told me... I was like, I'm going to go watch Grey's Anatomy. She's like, that's not even a good show. Okay, excuse you. Everyone has their own opinion. It's an amazing show. It's so good. If you've never given it a chance, I uh, recommend watching past the first episode. The first few episodes are the most boring, boring hours of your life. But once you get past it... You get into it. And you'll love the characters. Right. It's not like some other shows. There are some shows that you watch it and you immediately click with. Grey's Anatomy is that for no it one. It takes a few episodes. Oh, yes. It's, it's really good. It is really good. Okay, so Call the Midwife. I've only seen a few episodes of it, but it was pretty good from what I remember. Oh, yeah. Private Practice. I've also only seen a few episodes of that, but it's pretty good, too. It's not exact. It's not anything like Grey's Anatomy. I'd say it's somewhat similar. But it's the same characters playing themselves, so... It's a, it's a spin-off show. So it's, it's similar. Okay, but spin-off shows are usually really bad. Yeah, private practice isn't. It's where you get to meet Amelia Shepard. Addison gets to continue. Turns out Ellen Pompeo was actually kind of pissed she wasn't invited, but hey. Really? <laughs> yeah, she was really mad at Shonda for not giving her that opportunity. <laughs> but we're not going to judge. Okay, we'll move on to the horror dramas. Did we do all the... I think we did. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's start with you. It's mm -hmm. been going around everywhere. I'm everywhere. sure you've heard about it, and you're sure. like, okay, this is really dumb. It's like about a stalker. It's really good. It's, it's good. Everyone's I, talking about how good it is for a reason. Like, from the first scene, you'll be hooked. It is nothing like Grey's Anatomy. You're not going to be bored sitting there watching it. As soon as you start watching it, you're going to love it. I've, I've seen all of the first season and half of the second. And honestly, okay, when I started watching it, I didn't even know that people were, like, talking about it. I started watching it, and I'm like, this seems like... Like, no, I've never heard anyone say this in my life, but I'm just going to try it. And I was like, oh, my God. And then as soon as I was hooked, I heard everyone else getting hooked on it. Because it's a Netflix original, so you can find that there. It's really, it's kind of scary, though. It's a little weird. I wouldn't even say it's scary, but it is a horror for sure because it has some creepy stuff going on. Okay, well, next I'd have to say is Killing Eve. This is a poster of that. Oh, my God. This is my room, so, like, I'm on board with Killing Eve. Let me just go it's watch amazing. the trailer. It's amazing. It's so good. It's one of those shows that you're going to start watching. You give it one episode and you'll be hooked. You will want to see this. Episode. It's on Hulu. Yes. And there's two seasons out right now. They're making a third, but that's it. So there's only yeah. going to be three seasons. Okay, Pretty Little Liars is amazing. Obviously, I'm sure you've already heard of it again. But I have seen it as well. But I really like it. I feel like it's not even just about the plot line because it get, the plot line gets kind of messed up. It's too scary for me. I think that Pretty Little Liars is too scary it keeps you on the edge of your seat and i appreciate that it scared me so much and i watched it when i was like 12 years old okay dead to me oh my god it's freaking amazing dead to me is on netflix and it's really 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 good it's about this girl whose husband dies and she's trying to like track down the killer the next one is the act okay lauren was the one that wanted to put it on the list it is a little <laughs> scary it's a little creepy. Because it's based on a true story. I remember going through this rabbit hole on YouTube, watching Me too. video after video after video about this chick named Gypsy Rose. But Blanchard. It's a, Gypsy Rose Blanchard. It's a really creepy show. It's, it's really, really creepy. It is if you like messed up shit, you'll like it. But if you like your pure heart, please don't watch it. Desperate Housewives is really, really, really good too. It's really old. So that's like, it is pretty old. It was made in like the early 2000s, like 2003 and stuff. But it's on Hulu and I really recommend it. It's like, it's as scary as like Pretty Little Liars. So it's not so scary. It's not like the act. So let's move on to some reality TV shows. Because I feel mm -hmm. like that's a pretty small section for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, reality TV I know is really popular, but it's not like I watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians or anything. So... I mean... I didn't. <laughs> I don't recommend I watched... <laughs> I do recommend The Bachelor. Okay. But it depends on who The Bachelor and Bachelorette are. Because... <gasps> oh my god, we're done. No, we're done. Listen, we're done. Some seasons are good and some seasons are bad. That's the end of it. Oh my gosh, speaking of that, I totally forgot about these. Um, America's Next Top Model is actually really funny. So rigged. So obviously rigged. But like that stuff is really funny and so it's like a Project Runway. That okay, works. I really like Survivor. It's kind of like, I don't know, if you like reality TV in general, I just think you'll like it. Because it's like kind of about how surviving on an island, but it's more about just making alliances. Oh my god, Big Brother. Big Brother? Big Brother is so People good. hate Big Brother. Why? No, wait, my mom. Never mind. My mom hates every good show ever in the history okay, of the Okay, Big world. Brother is really, 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 really good. Okay, I'm moving on it's from that. It's so good. It's really good. Okay, so this is actually a cooking show, but Lauren wanted to put in the reality TV. But um, this is Cutthroat Kitchen. It's good. I like it. It's it's like um, one of those competition food competitions. Speaking of also food competitions, um, the great food truck race is really good too, and Cupcake Wars. Okay, so these two shows I watch with my family. So like, if you're like wanting to watch a show with your family, but you guys all have different opinions on what's interesting, mm -hmm. something that's like kind of reality TV, but like it'll kind of make everyone interested. Like even my stepdad, who's like 30, my little brother, me, I'm a teenager, like all different ages. Yeah. The Circle is really good. It's about like people they're per like they're in social media, so they never get to meet each other. But it's like they're trying to make alliances and not get voted off, but they never meet each other. So they can either pretend to be someone else or be themselves. Okay, this is a fake reality TV show, but I would like to say Total Drama Island is hilarious. <laughs> and going right along oh with that, my God. Chowder is so funny. Have you ever seen to Chowder? No, but I've seen Total Drama TV. Total Drama Island, Island? Oh my God. is 
so funny. I watched it all the time when I was little. So if there's any kids like scrolling the internet, get with it. <sighs> Total drama. I love okay, the funny. other one that you can watch with family is Back with the Axe. Mm. Okay, it's not as dumb as it sounds. Like it Never is, seen it. but it's funny. It's funny dumb. Like you'll laugh. There are your some family. things that are funny dumb. And that's like a lot of the sitcoms we listed. Okay, we're gonna move on to dramas. <laughs> yeah, because that's what most of the shows we watch are. Yeah, so this is gonna be the largest chunk. Okay, and this is probably our last section, I believe. So for dramas, Glee. I love Glee. I've watched it a few times. Um, and I don't mean like a few episodes. Like, I mean, I've rewatched it a few times. It's it's good. It, it has a lot of singing in it. Hence, it's Glee Club. But it's really good, I'd say. It's about uh, high school high schoolers and their drama club and it is really funny it's hilarious okay going back piggybacking off of that mm -hmm. Degrassi is kind of like that oh yeah Degrassi is like that and it's really good did we put Vampire Diaries on here no okay well Vampire Diaries <gasps> is kind of a horror -y one yeah I'd say it goes into the horror little channel but we're just gonna say it's a drama because it is the Fosters, okay, The Fosters is really, really, really good. It's kind of like about growing up, and it's about families, and it's like very dramatic, so if you want to be still be interested. And it is a good show. I really like The Fosters. There's a lot of drama, though. It is definitely a hardcore drama TV show. I've seen all of the episodes. It, I haven't. I've only seen a Also, few if you hate watching shows that have a bad ending, you won't be disappointed with the end of um, Degrassi, for one, The Fosters. And uh, you will be very disappointed With when you watch the liars. end of, oh, well, that, and, what, did you say Gossip Girl? Yeah. Okay, well, you're going to be very, very disappointed. I wasn't disappointed. Not Gossip okay. Girl. I was about to say How I Met Your Mother has a horrible oh. ending. Horrible. Damn. Okay, into pre oh, Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl's amazing, but again, it's kind of like Pretty Little Liars, but not as scary. It's more drama. It's also, yeah, it it's is. more drama, it but is. without the scary. There's no killing in it and stuff. No. I mean, maybe someone gets murdered here and there, but that's real but life. But not... Yeah. Yeah, like, it's not all about that. Um, and then we have a crime drama, but is really, really, really amazing, is White Collar. So good. And Psych is also very good. It's also on the crime drama comedy side. Psych is hilarious. It is one of my favorite TV shows ever, but you can't really find it anywhere except for, like, your local library. <laughs> So, I mean, go get a library card. Okay, you can watch Gossip Girl on Netflix, mm -hmm. and you can, what was the other one I said? Most of these shows are either on Netflix, Hulu, or both. Yeah. Oh. Okay, 13 Reasons Why is really, really good, but only the first season. Like, let me tell you, the first season is really good. I watched every episode. I binge-watched it. Like, I was amazed. Um, I was like, wow, the hype is real. Then they made season two, and I watched the first or two episodes of season two, and I was like, kill me now. So... If you are okay with the last episode having kind of a cliffhanger. 13 Reasons Why is not my favorite show. I watched about three episodes and just quit because like every single word is like a cuss word. It's horrible. It's really annoying and boring. I disagree. And kind of scary. Oh, this is kind of a, com a comedy drama and that would be Gilmore Girls. It's just like a really lighthearted show, not gonna lie. I love it so much. It's a lot, like a lot of moms like it. So I What mean, is it called? Um, Gilmore Girls. Oh, a lot of moms do like it. It is pretty interesting, but it's more just like chill. Like, it's just like nice to like have in the background. It's not a very like hard watch. Oh, I love those shows because then you can like play on your phone and watch. But they talk really fast, the people. They talk like a million miles per hour, so you have to be listening if you want to get the jokes. Gilmore Girls. Okay, next one we have. I want to say Riverdale, again, it's the same thing. The first mm. season. It's really good, keeps you on the edge of your seat, you binge watch it all, you watch the second season, and you're disappointed. Okay, well, Greenhouse Academy, I believe there's three seasons. I've seen the first two, or maybe there's two seasons that I've seen the first one. I don't know. I've seen, I think, two seasons, and it's a really good show. It kind of seems like a knockoff version of another show that's kind of popular, which I'm forgetting right now. Mm. Seems kind of off-brand. What's it called? Uh, Greenhouse, Greenhouse Academy. Academy. Okay, Life Sentence. Oh, so good. I recommended it. It's really good. I, I recommended, recommended it to you. We're not recommending it. Life Sentence is really good. Yeah. It's drama E. It's about cancer, but not in a sad way. In a good way. Life Sentence is freaking hilarious. It's funny. It is so good. Like, you just sit there and you're like, I love it. It got canceled after one season, though. So you may not like it since some people apparently didn't since it got canceled. 
But there's one season on Netflix. But there's only one season, and it and hopefully it's still on Netflix. I think it is. It's really good. It's really good. It has Lucy Hale starring Lucy. Which Hale. is in Pretty Little Liars, which I also highly recommend. So, Girl Boss and Life Unexpected um, are starring the same character, Britt Robertson, I believe, and she's such an amazing actress. She's also in For the People. But the point is, they are both really good shows. Life Unexpected is about a girl who is trying to get emancipated, but ends up trying to go back to live with her birth parents, and um, and then Girl Boss is just hilarious. It's a really good show. It's about a girl who's broke as heck, and she's trying to be an entrepreneur. Once Upon a Time is about like TV show care um no wait fairy tale characters um that are like real I guess and then Switched at Birth is about two people that were switched at birth shocking I know then we have Heartland love that show it's about a girl who rehabilitates horses I've actually seen some of that it's good she tells my brother what to watch and then I'll never see the end of it and then we have the 100 and Mako Mermaids. <laughs> The 100 is a scary show. I should have put that under horror. Um, but, no, it's really scary. I think I should probably move that to horror. I think it's sci-fi, and I hate sci-fi, so I don't think... I hope it's not sci-fi. I hate sci-fi. I hate sci-fi. I cannot do sci-fi. But I think it is. It's about these people that... Um, it's like a bunch of time in the future that they are now living in spacecrafts, and they have to come back down to Earth. And they have like six seasons, so it's really popular. And so is... Mako Mermaids. <laughs> I love Mako Mermaids. It is so good. It's a it's a children's show. It's not really a drama. It's a comedy, I believe. It's light. So we've just apparently decided to mix all these together. Okay, so this is Hudson. Okay. Oh. And he's wearing his Valentine's Day bandana. So that is the end of our video. No, we need to tell them. Have let's, you been looking at the viewfinder or the camera? Let's tell them our favorite three TV shows. Okay, my top three TV shows that I'm constantly watching. Like, please, this is, like, our honest opinion. Like, we said a bunch of shows that we like, yeah. but this is our absolute favorite. These are the shows that you will most likely see us watching, just, like, in general. Grey's Anatomy, I've been watching that for years. I just keep re-watching and keep re-watching it. Um, my next one would have to be Friends. I've seen that show so many times, more than I can count. It is so good. I think... I don't want to say anymore, because the rest are tied. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd say How I Met Your Mother and Baby Daddy are tied, but I don't even like that those two as much as I like Friends and Grey's Anatomy. Those are, those are my favorites. Okay, I really like Killing Eve. I love it so much. I like shows that make you root for the bad guy. It kind of messes with your mind. I obviously have a poster of it. Like, I love that show. She does. Um, I, I want to say you, but I feel like that just might be, like, how I'm feeling right now because I'm watching it. Right. These are shows that we've actually, like, binge-watched for years. Okay, Desperate Housewives is honestly going to have to go on the list. Okay, well, I just have two. My top two are just Maybe Grey's Pretty Anatomy. Little Liars because I feel, like, really connected to that show. And then Grey's Anatomy. It's just... I'm gonna have to say How I Met Your Mother. I'm sorry. I love How I Met Your Mother. That's my third. It's Friends, How I Met Your Mother, and Grey's Anatomy. Okay, well, I'm gonna say Pretty Little Liars, Killing Eve number one, and then, I don't know, Grey's Anatomy. Your hair is just fur. Okay, like yeah, those are our absolute favorites. So good. Please um, check any of these out if you're having, like, a dry what spot. What watch? Yeah, just, like, if you're like, mm, I don't really know what to watch on TV these days. These are some of our favorites. Um, they're so, so good. So, yeah, hit that thumbs up if you've seen any of these that you like. We've invested time so that you don't have to. Oh, by the way, they're just like a little bit of a disclaimer. You might not like every single show on here. There's a very good chance that you won't. But there's also an amazing chance that you will like a lot of the shows on here. Because our list is really good. I think it is. I think it's amazing. And I think you guys will too. So bye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post twice a week, supposedly on Tuesdays and Fridays, but we all know that's not how that works. I do my best to post on Tuesdays though. And Fridays, but well, like that's the That's the thumb the yeah, thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, well I don't have um Wi-Fi at my house, so this whole trying to post on a regular schedule is just not working out. But 
yeah, so hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you have any that you would like to recommend to other people. Or if there's anything that we forgot. I wish someone as famous as Taylor would forget a YouTube video. YouTube video? A YouTube channel. Oh. Okay, we're done. Bye.